Right now we're standing in a room that I did, and the walls are what I call my secret weapon. It's a beautiful light reflective color, which is now called Classic Mark. And it's made for me by Ellen Kennan in Baton Rouge, uh, St. Francisville, which is outside of Baton Rouge. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful color. And this client plays the piano, and they love mid-century, so we have a few pieces that are actual, genuine pieces of the mid-century, and then we have a lovely rug, which picks up the pillows and the gray of the sofa. I think the room came out okay. It's kind of clean. We need them to come in, and them being the client, and, you know, doing their thing. But, uh, from start to finish, this, this looks okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it all. Wanting to see my work, the best way to see it is to live it. And the best way to live it is to be in it. And here it is, a Park Avenue apartment that is going to be beautiful when it's complete. Well, I'm a little upset because I just saw previous footage which I don't know what the, you'll, how you will see that, but uh, I look like I weighed 790 pounds. The camera says it adds some weight, but boy, that's really weight. Maybe it's the down jacket, who knows. But let's not talk about this chest, let's talk about this chest, which is a beautiful piece which has been purchased for this project. It's uh, by Masson Gerard. It's, uh, wonderful mid-century piece that gets its, gets its flavor from uh, Louis XVI. Louis says, and the pair of tables are also for this apartment. This beautiful table on the floor with a celadon bowl. So it's in those Venetian lamps. It's, it's all started to come together. As you can see, composition is everything. We have a beautiful green banquette which picks up the greens in this painting. This is Hans Sloma. He's a friend of mine. You can see all of the fabrics work so well together. It's all about coordinating and coordination with the pieces. As a matter of fact, you can look and you see. I am wearing, besides being incredibly limber, orange shoes to match my orange jacket. I have a friend named Elaine Griffin who always says, orange, orange, you must wear mau, mau, orange. This is about as mild as I can get. Maybe not. Maybe we'll see what happens a little later. This is one of my Shanghai numbers. It's a lovely collection of photographs. Uh, Grand Central, people welcoming home heroes from the first Gulf War, the one that ended. Manhattan, Mimi Van Doren. Great collection. Oh, this is a great piece. It's one of my most favorite, favorite pieces. It's a spontaneous photograph taken long ago at a Hollywood party. Actually, Beverly Hills Volunteer Fire Department. And we have Lucille Ball and Judy Garland doing the Charleston to the delight of several people. And if you take a quick gander, you can see this young lady who is Nancy Davis, who would become Nancy Reagan. But if you notice, the only walls that are painted are the walls that carry the art. All the other walls remain light reflective. It makes the art more important. It makes the art more important. And uh, as they say in cartoons, let's all folks.